Hi and welcome to another video. Now in this video we are going to be covering Google Cloud Platform, uh, in other words GCP. Um, so I've, in my other videos I've covered Azure um, getting started and just some fundamentals with that platform. Uh, so now we'll be moving over to Google Cloud and then I'll go through the similar process with this one um, and then AWS similar process and then we'll start getting into more specifics um, in each uh, cloud environment um, and then I was thinking once I've kind of covered some things like that, I can also check in some videos around Kubernetes, Docker, uh, Terraform and automation and cool things like that as well. But I'd really like to just get you everyone started uh, with at least one of the clouds and then we can go from there because when I start getting into some videos uh, like automation and stuff, you can actually just follow along in each one of your clouds. Um, it doesn't need to be specific. Uh, that's how I kind of want to run this. So, um, but yeah. So what I want to do is get you started with uh, GCP, uh, Google Cloud. Um, and first off, we're going to start by setting up an account. So what you want to do is just pretty much come into here and go Google Console. And then um, click on Google Cloud Console at the top here. And now what you're going to need is an account. So um, I'm going to go based off, I don't have an account or anything, but if you already have a Gmail, you can use that. Uh, but or just to cover all bases, I'm going to create an account. Um, so click for myself and I'm going to fill in all of this and I'll meet you uh, at the end. Just to, also just as a note, um, I'm going to click create a new Gmail address instead. Again, you can use an existing one if you have one, but I'm going to create a new Gmail. Cool. So I have now created my account um, and I've gone through and I've just hit continue and you should see this. Um, so the cool thing with this here is that, um, you actually get $300 worth of credit as well. Uh, so I'll walk you through getting all of that. Um, but if you're at this screen, cool, uh, you made it. Um, so now we'll just select your country. Um, I'm going to change this to New Zealand, uh, and agree to these things. And we'll just wait for that to load. Cool. So. Uh, what you notice is that at the moment you can't really do anything because uh, if you followed along with the Azure videos, uh, you have to activate your free trial, right? You've got the account, but you you need to have um, you have to activate the environment, um, and we activate the free trial here. So you see that uh, we'll get ninety days, uh, three hundred dollars uh, of play money essentially, just to play around. Um, and then again, like the Azure one, there was products that are always free as well. So what we want to do is click try for free. And now we will go through this and um, select your country. Yep. Yeah, so you'll see here again, um, again with the Azure one, uh, no auto charge after the free trial end. So it is going to ask you for a credit card. Uh, but just remember that was, this is purely for verification. Uh, and just so they have something on file. Um, they're not going to charge you um, once your free trial runs out, you're not gonna have some unexpected cost. What happens is when your free trial runs out, your account pretty much gets suspended or um, like a temporary lock, and you can't really do anything in it unless you say, I now want to go onto the paid version of Google Cloud. Uh, so in short, you can just use the free trial once it's over, delete your account essentially. Um, or just never use it again if you don't want to pay for it. Uh, so we're going to hit continue. Cool. So now what you need to do is you need to fill out uh, the information here. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, I'll meet you on the next screen. So again, it is going to ask you for a card here um, and stuff like that. But again, it's not going to charge you. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm going to fill this out and I'll see you on the next screen. Also, just a note, uh, make sure that you change the account type to individual uh, instead of business. Um, yeah, otherwise you'll have heaps of stuff to fill out. It will ask you for a business name. You don't want that. Just make sure your account type is individual. So once you've filled that all out, uh, you can pretty much hit start my free trial. We'll just wait for that to load. And bam, we're in. We have, we'll go got it. And now we are in our free trial. That's this is the first thing you want to do is um, go to on the burger menu, hit billing, link a billing account, and then click here, click my billing account and set account. So this is setting your free trial 
uh, billing account to this platform and now you can see um, that you have free trial credit uh, so um, I actually have $452 uh, free trial credit uh, so that must have been like 300 USD and it's been converted so that's pretty nice and you can see how many days I have remaining um, so yeah so that's the step so let me just walk you through that again in case you got a bit lost you'll end up here at the start go to click on the burger menu here click on billing then it's going to ask you to link your billing account account click on it choose my billing account and then your billing account will be attached to your project now i'll cover projects and uh, the general platform itself uh, in the next video but if you made it this far awesome that means you're ready to um, follow along so i'll see you in the next video cheers